In part one of constraint driven floor planning, we have learned how to add different constraint on topology using set constraint workflow. We have successfully added constraint on impedance, propagation delay and relative propagation delays. And after that we have updated electrical constraint from topology explorer. In this video we will apply constraint to a board file, run DRC checks and resolve errors if any. So let's get started. We will begin with opening the board file that we have saved in part 1 of constraint driven floor planning tutorial. Or you can download the same file from the link given in the description and open the board file in Security Aurora 17.4. After opening the board file, in the second step, we are going to enable the visibility of DRC error markers. To do that, click over visibility and from here you have to enable DRC markers for all the layers. If we will zoom in, we can clearly able to see all the DRC markers are enabled now. Now in the next step, we are going to identify the source of these DRCs. First we are going to do that for maximum delay violations. To do that, open constraint manager, go to setup, constraint and click over electrical constraint. Inside the constraint manager, go to net routing and select wiring spreadsheet. Now as I told you, first we are going to analyze the maximum propagation delay issues. So to do that, click over minimum maximum propagation delay tab. Just scroll to the right side. Now right click over propagation delay margin and click on go to source. So once you do that and it will find out the maximum propagation delay between the dim connector and RN32 register. So that is one way to find out the DRC problem or the maximum DRC issues in case of propagation delay. There are a couple of more ways to find out the source of errors and one of them is cross probing. To identify the DRC errors using cross probing, we have to go to display. So firstly, I'm just going to close it. We'll go to display. And firstly, I'm just going to hide all the rats. To do that, just go to blank rats and click over all. Now I'm just going to highlight one particular rat and see what is the error on that. To do that, again, go back to display. This time click over show rats and click net. Now to find out that net, we have to go to find and from here we have to select the net. Let's change find by name to net and here you have to mention the net. In our case, it is parallel data net. Here we go. And once you hit enter, it will highlight the particular net. Now we'll go to the view tab and click on zoom by points. Now I'm going to zoom this section. Then again, we'll go to display and click on element. So here you can see a lot of information about parallel data bus. So it has DRC information and all other information like for example, what are the components and pin involved in this net. So as of now, we are not going to do anything here. Just leave it open and click over all of option except DRC errors. Okay, here we can do one more thing. I'm just going to place this component little bit close to dim connector. To do that, firstly you have to just click over done, close the element and select symbol. Now you can drag it somewhere close to dim connector. Now it would be easy to visualize. Now I'm going to open element again. To do that, go to display, click over element, turn off all except DRC. Now here you have to click on DRC error for D10 pin. And once you click there, you'll get all the DRC information here. So this is another way to find out DRC error. There is one more method to identify DRC error through constraint manager. So let's see that as well. So firstly, I'm just going to close the elements and go to constraint manager. To do that, again, go to setup, constraint and click over electrical constraint. From here, we'll go to minimum maximum propagation delay. And as of now, I'm just going to minimize it so we can visualize. So as you can see here, we have three errors, three DRC errors. And when we are trying to place it close to the component, for example, select the symbol and place it close to the component. Here we go. So as you can see, most of the errors are resolved and you can verify it through this menu. So we can clearly see most of the pins from this lane one are past the test, except this one. So again, you can adjust the position of the component and resolve it and verify directly from here. So that is another way to find out the source and remove the error 
by placing components closer in case of propagation delay and there will be different method for impedance as well. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.